Hello everyone. We have recently launched 15 new text transformations for AWS WAF. In this video, I'm going to tell you a bit about these and show you how they work. Firstly, a quick recap that AWS WAF is our web application firewall. It's a managed firewall service that helps you protect against common web exploits and bots that could affect availability, compromise security, or consume excessive resources. It integrates with services such as CloudFront, application load balancers, and API Gateway to protect your web services from attack. WAF gives you the ability to configure a range of different rules, from reputation-based to rate-based. It allows you to the use of, of managed and third-party rule sets so you can benefit from existing best practices. Within AWS WAF, we have text transformation. These allow you to reformat web requests to remove any unusual formatting or to sanitize input before rule evaluation. It can be used to identify threats that may be obscured by attackers in an effort to bypass detection. You can use text transformations with WAF rule statements such as SQL injection detection, string match and regex pattern sets. And you can chain up to 10 text transformations together in a single rule statement. And once configured, AWS WAF will apply the transformations first before evaluating the rule statement. For example, UTF-8 to Unicode text transformation converts all UTF-8 character sequences into Unicode, and this can be used to help minimize both false positives and false negatives for payloads that are not in the English language. MD5 text transformations calculate an MD5 hash value, and this can be used to check if input parameters are within expected value and have not been tampered using text obfuscation techniques. This new update brings a much richer range of text transformations and provides support for many more text formats. There is no additional cost for using these text transformations, but standard service charges for AWS WAF still apply. The new text transformations are available in all AWS WAF regions and for each supported service, including Amazon CloudFront, Application Load Balancer, Amazon API Gateway and AWS AppSync. For a full list of text transformations that are supported, you can see the AWS WAF Developer Guide, which I'll attach to the video description. Now let's take a look at how to configure these within the AWS console. First, we'll go to the AWS WAF and Shield service. The first thing you'll need is a web ACL. This is like a virtual container for all your AWS WAF rules and rule groups. I have already created a demo web ACL for the purpose of this video. But if you do not have one, you can start by following our documentation and creating one in your own account. Next, we'll navigate to the rules section of our configuration. From here, we can create a new rule and either use AWS managed rules or create a custom one. For the purpose of this demo, I will show you how to create a custom rule with text transformation. If we click on add rule and then add my own rules or rule group, it will open up the configuration window for the rule. I'm going to give this one the name Transformation Demo. Set it as a regular rule, but here you can also create rate-based rules, and then configure the statement. We have the ability to match a statement or negate a match, and we also string together AND or OR logic here within the rule. For this demo, I'm going to keep it simple and match on a single header field called Encoded String. This would represent a field within the header of the traffic request passing through our web application firewall. We can also match on a large range of other criteria from body content to query string or HTTP method. We then choose the match type, which can be exact or various kinds of partial matches. And now for the string to match, I'm going to paste in a base64 encoded message. This represents a value that could be injected by a bad actor as a means of bypassing regular firewall checks. We can't read this, but through the use of text transformations, AWS WAF can. We will set the transformation type to base64 decode, and this will allow AWS WAF to convert the string to clear text before evaluating any rules against the request. We can then select an action for this rule, which could be to block the request or present the user with a captcha or a challenge if the request contains this string. Another useful feature when testing new rules is to set the action to count 
This won't block any traffic, but will log metrics on how many requests match the rule that we've created. As you can see, text transformations are very pow powerful, and through the addition of 15 more transformation types, AWS WAF has more functionality and an even greater ability to protect your services. That's all for this demo, but please check out the links in the description to learn more about AWS WAF and these new text transformations.